There's never been a black cop in this city. We think you might be the man to open things up around here. A story so outlandish it sounds like it couldn't even be dreamt up by Hollywood's wildest dreamers. A black cop decides that he wants to infiltrate the KKK. How? Hello. Well, it's just call him up. Well, who am I speaking with? This is David Duke. Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan. That David Duke? God. Last time I checked. What can I do you for? Well, since you asked, I hate blacks. I hate Jews, Mexicans, and Irish, Italians, and Chinese. But my mouth to God's ears, I really hate those black rats. And anyone else, really, that doesn't have pure white Aryan blood running through their veins. I'm happy to be talking to a true white American. God bless white America. So how does a black detective then actually get sworn in to the all-white clan? The truth is stranger than fiction, but it is all true. If you had to make it up, people would say, uh, that doesn't exist, I'm not going to make a movie. Poppycock. <laughs> Poppycock. <laughs> Bullocks. <laughs> it's all true. <laughs> it's all true. It's all true. I think that's one of the, the great appeals of this film, Matt, is that it's stranger than life. Jordan Peele, when Jordan Peele called me of Get Out Fame, mm -hmm. My brother called me and said, I want to pitch you something. It was, the pitch was pure Hollywood concept. Six words. Black man infiltrates Ku Klux Klan. That's it right there. Today we are privileged mm -hmm. to be among white men oh, right. mm -hmm. and white women, <laughs> <laughs> such as yourselves. I want to thank you so much for never putting your country second. Mm. America first. America first. America first. And although it's very much set in the 70s, yes. vintage 70s stuff, yes. you know, there are these sort of signposts that link it very much to the present, yes. including the that America was, first that was, that, that was intentional. From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. America first. Historically, American First was used by the Klan mm. in the 1920s against immigrants. So, if we just look at history and be aware and be and and just, as they say now, woke, this stuff is not new. Rise. Step forward. I hope people to see this film. That they view, they have, they come with the viewpoint, or come out of the theater with the viewpoint that yes. this is a global phenomenon, the rise of the right. Mm. This is not just something that's peculiar to the United States of America. This is happening all over this God's earth. But what's and immigrants being the brunt of the rallying cry? Mm. Like we got to keep these people out. They're brand crime, raping our women, they're taking our jobs, taking our culture. It's this the same. Thing again and again and again has just been recycled. But when you make a movie, and when you proceed the movie as you did at Cannes with a very strong speech right. against Ooh. the president whose name you don't say, want to mention, can I just say this? Yeah, that was not that was not predetermined. As I was speaking about this, is we're talking about the press conference at Cannes. Yeah, I began to think about Heather Hare. Yeah, and how. The, the uh, the one who was killed who was killed in Charlottesville, murdered, and then you let fly, and then then that was just like from my heart. We have a guy in the White House. I'm not gonna say his name. It was a defining moment. It was not just for Americans, for the world. And that was given a chance to say. We are about love and not hate. And that did not denounce the clan, the alt-right, and those Nazi Trump seems to be getting more and more popular amongst his own party. I mean, the Republican Party wouldn't touch him with a barge pole until they had to. Now he's got 88% approval ratings amongst Republicans. Well, that's why I use the term coalition. Mm. That's why I use the word coalition. And also, I like to add, all those people that were him, 
they're going to go down on the wrong side of history. You said in 2015 that um, you wanted to be less angry, but this film is born out of anger, isn't it? I think the anger, Matt, is reaction to the world we live in. Mm. The 18 months of this guy in the White House. I think my anger is families being separated at the border and how this relation with the Russians too. That's why I'm wearing this shirt. What does it say? God protect Robert Mueller. Yes. You'd never thought you'd be wearing a t-shirt like that. I never thought I'd have a president like, I mean, I mean, it'd be something like that. I never thought that another nation could influence our own politics like that. I mean, that's some but Cold War stuff. You're taking this Jew lie detector test. Why are you acting like you ain't got skin in the game? I'm telling you, the wars are coming. Black power! Black power! We must unite and organize to fight racism! I've been asked, Matt, many times, you know, what do you spike, what this film you've done is angry. What are you trying to tell the audience? What is your takeaway? The takeaway I'm getting for this film is register to vote. The midterms are coming up in November. And after that, the presidential election.